Bonjour. Another video. Not of that. I'm just hiding in here. Uh, my, you may remember my Bakelite cigar box. Uh, why am I holding that? Bakelite cigar box lamp which I made a while ago. Uh, I've upgraded it. It's now got a uh, Doppler radar motion sensor in it. So if I can just sneak around here. There it is. When you go towards it, whee, it turns on, as if by magic. Because I wanted to use it in here. Because I come through here sometimes at night time, because I'm going to smoke out the back door or something. So uh, it would be handy, I thought, if this turned on automatically. So I'll show you the insides of it. Little upgrades. I didn't know these things existed. Previously, uh, obviously, um, for uh, for motion sensing, you'd use something like that, passive infrared, which requires a little window. But obviously, radar can sense from being in completely enclosed, so that appealed to me straight away. I didn't even know they existed. I got it from China, some Chinese eBay seller. Just take the lid off and show you. I had to lead line the sort of rear of the case. Because it was sensing, because this is a terraced house, uh, my next door neighbours, if they were moving around near this wall in their kitchen, it would trigger the lamp. So I've put some lead lining in there just so it can't, so it can't sense that way. That's the radar thing which I've added. This little antenna on top wobbles around for some reason. So there's not much spare room in there anymore. Three potentiometers that change the lux level, which it becomes active at. But so it, it can be set. That's a light sensor. It can be set so that it only comes on at night. But because it's in a box, that's completely irrelevant. Uh, the the duration that the light stays on for once it's been triggered, and something else which I've forgotten. Oh, that's the uh, that's the sort of radar range. You can change it so that it switches between. Uh, you don't go between two to eight meters range. But yeah, there you go. Little upgrade for you.